In this second video of our two-part deep learning technology video series, we'll show you how to use the training data we created in part one to set up your software for label-free nucleus detection. To start, go to the Deep Learning Layout tab and click New Training in the Deep Learning Tool window. Change the name of your new training and select the dataset you created while watching the first video. Click OK on the dialog box and wait a few seconds. Then choose the input channel. For label-free nucleus detection, you'll select the transmitted light channel. However, since we're going to use the training data to detect nuclei from phase contrast images, select pH instead of transmitted light. The training label class is nuclei only, and we defined it in the previous video. Now we can select the training configuration. In many cases, the standard network is okay. The large network is appropriate for more complicated structures, but it takes more time. Let's keep the default iteration. If necessary, we can increase it later. We used an NVIDIA Quadro P2000, and the process took about 50 minutes. There are several ways to check accuracy. The similarity between the training layer and the layers where the neural network identified the nuclei, called inferred layers, is shown by default. The minimum value is 0 and the max is 1. Note that the similarity increases during the training process. When each iteration finishes, a checkpoint is created. You can check the quality of the neural network by validating the data at each checkpoint. Validation data are selected from the training data set. The red areas are the inferred nuclei from the validation data's phase contrast channel. The red circle is the training label, showing the correct nuclei area. In this example, the data looks OK, but there are a few missed detections. You can save the neural network at a checkpoint and end the training, but let's continue. In this example, the training process is finished after five checkpoints have been created. Now that the training is complete, we can see that the detection is very accurate, and the errors we saw at the first checkpoint are gone. Save the neural network at checkpoint 5 so that we can use it for other images. The neural network training is complete. Go to the Count and Measure Layout tab to apply the neural network to other images. The images we're going to use in this example are available in the Installer Guide. Open two of the images. Apply the neural network to the phase contrast channel to infer a nuclei. Then apply the count and measure function to the inferred nuclei to count them. Record this process as a one-click macro. Disable toggle batch macro if needed and click Create Macro. Define the name of the macro and start recording. From the menu bar, select Neural Network Processing and then select Neural Network. The input channel must be pH, since this neural network was trained using the phase contrast channel. We recommend unchecking the Create New Document as Output box for macro recording. The resulting inference layer identifying the nuclei is shown as a probability layer. The red area shows the inferred nuclei from the pH channel. The gray value isn't the intensity of the DAPI fluorescence, but the probability of an object being a nucleus. While this image includes the DAPI channel, it's only to verify the data. It's not used for the inference process. You can conduct additional analysis using the count and measure module. Click to activate the probability layer. A probability threshold will be applied to the nuclei. Set the threshold so that two close nuclei are properly split and so that all nuclei are properly detected.
The measurement results for each object are shown in the chart. At this point, you can stop the macro recording. Confirm that the detected object layer has been created. This analysis process can be applied to your other images by clicking Run Macro. You can also go back and apply a threshold to the DAPI channel to compare it with the probability channel. Select the DAPI channel and change the color for easy checking. As you can see, it's impossible to separate two close nuclei no matter how we adjust threshold. If we separate the upper two objects, many other nuclei will not be properly detected. This demonstrates that the neural network's label-free nucleus detection using the phase contrast image works better than the traditional DAPI staining. In addition to being able to identify nuclei without staining, the deep learning technology helps keep your cells healthier by eliminating the phototoxicity caused by fluorescence excitation. If you'd like more information about CellSense Software's deep learning technology, visit olympus-lifescience.com. Thanks for watching.